Today is our Humans of Usaradak interview with Linda Hunter, and uh, she's our board president, and we'll be interviewing her today. So first, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, I was born in a small town in Manitoba called Gilbert Plains uh, of uh, Ukrainian parents and, and grandparents, so I was uh, completely surrounded by Ukrainian culture. Um, I have a very supportive husband and daughter and two grandchildren that I love to pieces. Um, I am uh, retired. I retired a few years ago, but I was um, most of my career I was a uh, senior project manager uh, providing IT consulting services to many organizations in Winnipeg, uh, Manitoba, and across Canada. So um, I've been, uh, I still am involved with, uh, with Osaraduk. I have been for many years. Um, I've actually been on the board for 21 years. And uh, I'm also a member of the Old Crushes Choir and have been for probably 40 years, which is giving away my age. <laughs> And um, I, I am generally uh, involved in, uh, in the community, uh, doing lots of volunteer activities. Um, I like to paint, I like to draw, um, do lots of crafts and uh, in my spare time when I have any. Um, and I love to work outside in the garden. Um, I love uh, playing around with my plants in the flower beds. Um, yeah, that's probably uh, good enough for now. <laughs> okay, thank you. So why did you want to um, work or volunteer at Osirada? Well, I'm probably going to answer how I got involved with Osirada first, because I was introduced to Osirada by Walter Klemke, who was the conductor of the Okoshes Choir. And he was a very strong proponent of supporting Osirada and, and building it. And so he would recruit choir members to come and paint and clean and do just about anything um, that needed to be done in Osaraduk. The other thing that he did was he um, started supporting Osaraduk by going caroling at Christmas. And so being part of the choir and having gone caroling when I was uh, growing up, um, I decided that that was what I wanted to do and it gave me the opportunity to carol for Osaraduk. And um, that's what I've been doing ever since. And so that's sort of my, my one big contribution to Osaraduk is the uh, Christmas caroling. Thank you. So how did you, um, or I guess you kind of answered that question already, how you first got involved, but when and how was your first time at Osiradoc? You talked about caroling a little bit, but what was your first time at Osiradoc? Um, my first time at Osiradoc, I think, was one uh, on one of the cleanup exercises. We came to help. We'd, you know, uh, sweep the floors. Uh, as I said, we'd uh, clean uh, rooms and uh, boxes and whatever else needed to be done. So that was sort of my, my first introduction to Osaraduk. And um, the fact that it was a Ukrainian organization was important to me because uh, I was brought up with Ukrainian culture and uh, to be able to help and support it uh, was important for me. For sure. So. What is your favorite event at Osiradok? My favorite event? <laughs> That's a good one. Um, to me, I think one of the most satisfying events uh, that I was involved with was the 75th anniversary. Um, I think it was extremely successful. It focused on, on Osiradok. It showcased what we have here. Um, it was called 521. And, uh, we uh, were able to have people come in and look at all the different floors and, and what we have here. Uh, it was very successful from a um, sellout. Uh, we uh, sold out all the tickets and uh, we received a lot of uh, community support as well. Thank you. So I just had a question about that. So you said it was the 75th anniversary of Osiradoc. So when was that? Uh, that would have been, I think, 2016. Oh, wow. So we're just over 75, almost 80 years. Yep, now. we're getting close to 80 years. Interesting. So what is your favorite memory from Osiradoc, it, be it if it's different from that or if you have any other sort of overall memory or something that you take away that's your favorite? Um, actually, I, it may sound kind of silly, but I the last few years I've taken the boutique to the Dauphin, uh, the Canada's National Ukrainian Festival, in Dauphin. And for me, that is, is absolutely um, phenomenal because it's going home for me. 
And so I get to see lots of people that I know from around back home, uh, lots of family, friends, and uh, plus I get to uh, take a saradak on the road. And so I, to me, I just love it. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, event. Um, and uh, like I say, we get, and I get to meet people that are in Winnipeg that I don't see when I'm here. So uh, it's certainly an opportunity to uh, reunite uh, with friends and family. So what do you like best about working or volunteering at Asarada? Um, I like the people. Uh, to me, you know, uh, seeing all the different people that work here, that volunteer here, making friends, uh, reuniting with old friends that, you know, I haven't seen for a while, but um, also making new friends and uh, just understanding um, how they relate uh, to Ukrainian culture, I think is really interesting. For sure. And I think that's something I can relate with too, because the first summer I was at Osteretic last year, my key takeaway was that it was a people that made us erratic special and a good place to work at because really at the center of every nonprofit organization is you have to have people who are passionate and are willing to work with others to make events like 75th anniversary, Manitoba 150, those different events yeah. come together and happen. Yeah, so, no, for sure. Yeah. It's, uh, it, to me, it's tremendous. Um, and uh, you, can't, you can't put a value on that. You know, it's just uh, phenomenal for sure. So why do you continue to commit your time and energy to Osiradek? I think it's important um, to maintain the culture, to share it with people, and um, you know, to give back to the community. So for me, that's extremely important. And uh, plus, I just love this place. <laughs> I, it seems like I could, I could almost work here for nothing. It's such a great place to be. And there's always there's so much happening here, and there's so much to give to everyone else. That uh, yeah, I, I always feel very satisfied when I'm involved with events at Osradik. For sure, and that's the biggest part, I guess, of volunteerism or getting involved with nonprofits is that passion that you have for it, and you want to get involved with it. Yep. Uh, yeah. And my husband claims that I don't know how to say no <laughs> when I'm asked to do something, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> So what unique skills and traits do you bring to the organization? Um, I think that uh, a career, with my career as a project manager, um, I'm able to bring people together um, to organize uh, a lot of things, uh, whether it be activities. Um, I've had to deal with lots of different kinds of people. So being able to uh, build teams I think is important, and I feel that I can do that with, with my background. What do you think is the power of Ukrainians? The power of Ukrainians. I think the power we have is in our belief in, in the country, in the culture, and being able to sort of um, provide that or to show that to other people, that you know we are strong, um, no one is going to take that away from us, um, and especially now with, with the war in Ukraine. Um, I think it shows that we are a very strong and united people, and um, you know that uh, we're not going to we're not going to lose. For sure, and that's I think that's been a common theme throughout all the interviews you've done so far is the idea of resiliency and perseverance. Yeah, for sure. So, what have you learned during your time here? Um, I've learned lots of things. Uh, certainly, um, I've learned a lot more about uh, some of the customs. Uh, I've learned a lot more about the history of, of Ukraine, um, about artists, writers, um, a lot more about even some of the uh, cultural traditions that we have, which has uh, been great because now I can pass that on to my granddaughters. Yeah. So. What do you think the relevance and significance of an organization like Osiradoc is? I think it's important that we can have sort of a, I don't want to call it a one-stop shopping center kind of thing, but you know, I think it's good to know that there is one place that we can go to um, to celebrate the culture, to learn about it, uh, to spread the information. Um, I think that's vital. Uh, not to say that the other organizations aren't important, I think they are,
But I think to have one that represents uh, the Ukrainian community um, is important. And that's where I think Osadab has a huge role to play. Yeah, and that idea of a cultural hub, which is really the center of the name, being right. winning center. So. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. I think uh, one of the things that has changed in those years is uh, the younger people that are more interested in the customs and the culture and, you know, want to learn about it. I think at one time, um, you know, people were almost embarrassed to say they were Ukrainian. And, uh, you know, because uh, in some ways it was a detriment for them to find jobs and positions. Um, but I think now, um, one of the biggest changes is that we are very proud to be Ukrainian and we're advertising it a lot more, I think, than it used to be. Um, we can't run Osadadok on our own. We need help from everyone in the community and I think we're getting that, uh, but certainly, uh, and it's certainly appreciated. Um, you know, we, uh, anything that we can get, uh, anyone that helps out, no matter how large or how small, is definitely appreciated and Without our volunteers and supporters and funders, um, Osaradik wouldn't exist.